Venus. Venus is a 20-year Vimshodri Dasha. Venus is a natural benefic. Venus during his Dasha gives worldly happiness, gives more positive results than negative results. It does not mean that the entire 20 years will be, you know, uh, laid down with roses. There would be thorns during the Antras and the Pratyantras of enemy planets or malefic planets. But generally during the Venus Dasha, we have a benevolent Dasha or the Venus Dasha gives us quite a lot of uh, good results, good memories, good ideas and therefore during this Dasha we taste some kind of success. Even if uh, Venus is a functional malefic, its natural benevolence of Venus generally give us pretty positive results irrespective of which house he is placed, irrespective of which lord he is, irrespective of, you know, whether he is a natural ben a malefic, I mean, whether he is a functional malefic, he will definitely give us more benefic results or or more good results uh, tinged with some kind of a negativity if he happens to rule malefic houses. The, uh, the general tendency during Venus the Shah is the growth uh, in in the person is uh, if he if the person is during his childhood would be good in his education in his or her education generally if a native is having the Venus Dasha but up to the age of 20-22. This Dasha will definitely see marriage of the children because Venus is a natural Karaka for marriage. It is the Kalatra Karaka. It is the Karaka of uh, for a male chart. It is a Karaka of the spouse and uh, for the female chart, it is the Karaka for Mangalya or it is a Karaka for marriage. It is a Karaka for happiness. Um, it is a Karaka for luxury, um, you know, enticement, uh, worldliness. Uh, you know, even the odor of a person or a breath of a person changes during Venus Desha. During Venus Desha, the person is very gregarious, happy, um, willing to adjust, accepting, accepting that I am capable of doing something good, uh, being, uh, having a positive approach to life and, um, the success or the the houses where the native will success succeed will depend upon the placement of Venus and the lordship of Venus. Invariably, Venus will give us charm, courage, uh, courtesy, uh, oneness with the family, uh, oneness with the mother because Venus is also uh, Karaka for mother along with moon. Uh, therefore, during this 20 years of mar uh, 20 years of Venus Desha, we can see marriage, we can see emotions, we can see happiness, we can see vehicles, uh, we can see foreign travel, uh, we can have a look at um, you know experimenting with business ventures. Venus is a uh, planet that can generally give luxurious uh, uh, living for during the the shop the uh, a weak venus now uh, many many a times especially for uh, sagittarius lagna venus becomes a lord of the 11th and the 6th so venus becoming the lord of the 11th and 6th would uh, kind of be a house of uh, Lord of struggle and a papi house because it is the 11th house of gains which according to Parashara is considered a papi house. Again, uh, this Venus, even if he is the Lord of the Sixth, during his Dasha, there would be tremendous material growth 
during this dasha. Uh, maybe they because of its placement. Supposing Venus is placed in the twelfth uh, from uh, uh, from Sagittarius, maybe the native might go out of his country, may earn money from foreign wealth, or he may be separated from his mother. But that does not prevent the native from becoming materially wealthy and materially comfortable during this uh, dasha. Uh, one has to remember that the dasha, Venus dasha, very rarely, uh, I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's unless it is Nietzsche and it is combust and the Nichatva is personified in the Navamsha chart too, I have seen a dasha which has been very harmful to a uh, Native generally, however badly placed Venus is, however uh, negative uh, the Lord he might be for a uh, for a uh, lagna, it has definitely Venus definitely gives some kind of a, a benefic uh, result or some kind of a benevolence. I forgot to mention in my Ketu. Uh, uh, lesson that during Ketu Dasha it is very advisable to pray to Ganpati or to pray on Tuesdays if you are a non-Hindu uh, take tell an extra prayer on Tuesdays for uh, for Ketu similarly uh, for Venus Dasha uh, you have to pray to Lakshmi or the goddess uh, Lakshmi or Mother Mary if you are a non-Hindu or maybe you tell an extra prayer for Fatima if you are following the Islam culture. I have observed that whatever your religion might be, whatever culture you might be, a prayer on a particular day has definitely yielded results. If on for Venus for Venus, for the benevolence of Venus to give you maximum growth or maximum strength, a prayer on Friday, an extra prayer on Friday for uh, Venus in the name of Venus has given tremendous growth during this period. Even if uh, you are not in our uh, uh, Hindu religion, a prayer on Friday in Venus's name has definitely made a big difference for the natives who are having the Tasha of Venus. The health problems that one suffers during Venus Dashas is diabetes, it is weakness of sexual organs, impotency and vernal diseases. Uh, and uh, here I have given you in my example chart uh, of a cancer lagna with uh, Venus becoming the 11th house lord and the 4th uh, house lord therefore during the dasha of venus there would have been mixed results depending upon where his placement would be there might be if he is placed in the 12th he might be separated from his 4th house activities and that is he might be separated from his mother but from the 11th house perspective he might have got tremendous material or financial gains. In the next lesson, let us look at sun.